Hey guys, welcome back to Coon Jam Adventures. We have another Flintlock versus video for you today. Today we're answering one of Canada's oldest questions. Are hockey pucks bulletproof? What, it's just me asking that question? I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, well the sun's come out, so that's kind of nice. Nice and bright out. Uh, so all I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna drill this into uh, my target board here. That way it stays put. And I'll do it right there. Ah! Turn that down. There we go, perfect. So this is another one where I'm really not too sure what's actually gonna happen. Um, I guess all we can do is really shoot it and figure it out. So let's give it a shot. All right, let's go take a look. Oh, looks like I hit it. No, I didn't quite hit it. Kind of hit it on the left. Oh, but it did actually take a good chunk out of it. Oop, there you go. It actually did take a good chunk out of it. You can kind of see on the side here that, but I wonder what happens if I hit it dead center. I'm gonna give that another try. All right, well, first shot was kind of off there, so. Once again, I'm going to try and shoot it one more time. I think it's going to go right through based on what we saw, but I just want to shoot it again. I have no idea what I just did there. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I thought I had put it in the same hole, but no. I went straight through the center of it there. Did it go, and it went all the way through. Here, let me, come on, come on, get out of here. Come on, come on. oh my God, am I gonna have to do this whole flipping? Come on, I should have brought the drill down. Okay, there we go. Wow. It went straight through. Huh. Well, I guess we know now that if you want to make body armor out of hockey pucks, not the greatest idea because a flintlock can go straight through them. So once again, guys, this is just one of those ridiculous videos that I just randomly came up with the idea and I wanted to give it a try. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. I know some of you definitely aren't. Do that, and I'll see you guys on the next adventure.